This is Stormscope USA with breaking news from Ethiopia. A massive volcanic eruption has just occurred in the Afar region, marking a historic geological event that scientists are closely monitoring. This development has significant implications for the surrounding area and demonstrates the dynamic nature of Earth's tectonic forces. The Haley Gubby volcano erupted explosively on November 23, 2025, generating an ash plume that reached approximately 10 to 15 kilometers in altitude. The eruption began at approximately 8.30 in the morning local time in one of the most remote and inhospitable regions on Earth. This represents the first documented eruption from this volcano in recorded geological history. The location of this eruption is particularly significant. Africa typically experiences limited volcanic activity compared to other continents. When eruptions do occur, they're usually concentrated in the Congo region. However, the eastern part of the continent sits above the African superplume, a massive geological feature that drives volcanic and seismic activity throughout the East African Rift Valley. This eruption shouldn't come as a complete surprise to those monitoring the region. Pressure has been building in this area for decades. Over the past 6 to 12 months, significant activity has been observed further south, near the Dauphin and Fentail volcanoes. Large magmatic dike intrusions have occurred, accompanied by steam explosions and powerful earthquakes reaching magnitude 6, indicating that activity was intensifying beneath the surface. The ash cloud from the eruption has drifted northwest over Yemen, demonstrating the significant scale of this event. Initial estimates place the ash column at 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters, though it has likely risen considerably higher since those early measurements were taken. The aviation color code has been elevated to red, the highest alert level. Approximately one and a half million people live near these volcanic systems in and around the East African Rift Valley. If this activity continues to evolve, it could develop into a serious situation for these communities. However, it's important to understand we're observing processes that operate on geological time scales. Most volcanoes in this region produce low viscosity magma, which typically doesn't result in highly explosive events, although today's eruption proves to be an exception. Satellite imagery reveals the extensive nature of this ash cloud. The plume is clearly visible moving across the Red Sea toward the Arabian Peninsula. Satellite data also shows a significant sulfur dioxide plume being released by the eruption. This gaseous emission is a key indicator of magmatic activity and can have implications for air quality and climate in the short term. The Haley Gubby volcano is located approximately 15 kilometers southeast of the well-known Erda Ale volcano. It stands at 521 meters in elevation and is actually one of the smaller volcanoes in this volcanic zone. When examining satellite imagery of the area, you can see numerous other volcanic features scattered throughout the landscape. The terrain itself appears twisted and churned, a direct result of the African superplume rising from deep beneath the Earth's surface. The entire Afar region has been geologically very active. If we compare locations, the Dauphin volcano, where recent activity has been concentrated, sits approximately 450 kilometers away from Haley Gubby. Despite this distance, the African superplume affects this entire area. It's one of the largest geological features on our planet, extending deep into Earth's mantle. Understanding the African superplume requires looking at cross-sectional seismic data. These measurements show seismic velocity variations throughout the African continent. In the Afar region, there's a distinct zone of very slow seismic velocity. This slow velocity indicates that the rock in this area is more malleable and hot compared to surrounding regions. It's what scientists call a low-velocity seismic province, and it's directly linked to volcanic activity. 
The cross section with depth reveals how this super plume originates near the core mantle boundary, possibly in the region near South Africa, then rises and spreads laterally like a river of molten material beneath the surface. The energy from this upwelling is so powerful that it's literally tearing the African continent apart. Continents are the most stable geological structures on Earth's surface, composed primarily of strong felsic rock types like granite. The fact that this flow of energy can actually cause continental rifting demonstrates its immense power. Most of this rifting energy is concentrated in the Afar region of Ethiopia, though it extends southward and even into Arabia. This is the fundamental force driving current geological activity in the region. The pressure hasn't been building for just months, but for years and decades. Now we're witnessing major explosive eruptions from this rifting zone, which historically has experienced infrequent volcanic activity compared to other hotspots like Hawaii. Between 2015 and 2020, 20% 20 of the known volcanoes in the East African rift system showed signs of activity. That's 18 volcanoes displaying deformation and other indicators of unrest in just a five-year period. This represents a huge amount of geological activity. The area has also experienced subsidence and other tectonic movements, all pointing to an energetically active geological system. Scientists track much of this activity using isotope ratios, particularly helium isotopes. These measurements are crucial for understanding where deep earth energy originates. Different helium isotope ratios exist near the core mantle boundary, and these distinctive signatures get transported upward by mantle plumes like the one beneath Hawaii and the super plume under Africa. Helium is the second lightest element after hydrogen and exists as a noble gas, meaning it doesn't readily react with other elements or binds to compounds. This property allows helium to migrate upward from the deep earth relatively unchanged. When scientists find elevated ratios of helium-3 to helium-4, like those observed in Ethiopia, they know the material has a very deep origin. These elevated ratios are particularly prominent in the Ethiopian Dome region and the Afar zone where the recent eruption occurred. The scale of this eruption is evident in the satellite imagery. The ash plume extending across such vast distances underscores the explosive nature of this event. This is a developing situation that requires continued monitoring. Scientists track all energetically significant events on Earth, including earthquake activity, volcanic eruptions, and geophysical phenomena. The longer-term trend suggests that pressure in this region is actually building up rather than dissipating. This recent eruption could be viewed as the first major depressurizing event in some time. Whether this activity continues or subsides remains to be seen, but the geological forces at work suggest ongoing activity is likely. The African superplume continues its relentless push upward, driving the rifting process that will, over millions of years, potentially split the African continent. The mechanism behind these eruptions follows a predictable pattern. Enormous amounts of energy and convection flow from the core mantle boundary upward through the mantle. The exact reason why this occurs remains a subject of scientific investigation, likely related to the geodynamo and deep inner earth processes that aren't fully understood. As this material rises and moves laterally, it undergoes decompression melting. When pressure drops, rock begins to liquefy, forming magma chambers close beneath the surface. When these chambers repressurize, the result is similar to a release of built-up pressure. The magma finds pathways to the surface, resulting in eruptions like what we've witnessed at Haley Gubby. This cycle of pressure buildup and release has been ongoing for millions of years and will continue far into the future. The communities living in the Afar region face ongoing challenges from this geological activity. The Ethiopian Disaster Risk Management Commission works to monitor volcanic and seismic activity and coordinate evacuations when necessary. In recent months, tens of thousands of people have been relocated from high-risk areas near active volcanoes.
The infrastructure in these regions, including roads, buildings, and homes, has sustained damage from earthquakes and volcanic activity. The remoteness of the Afar region makes monitoring and response particularly challenging. It's one of the most inhospitable areas on Earth with extreme heat, harsh terrain, and limited accessibility. Most information about current activity comes from satellite observations rather than ground-based monitoring. This makes events like the Haley Gubby eruption even more remarkable as the eruption's onset was fortuitously captured by satellite imagery at the exact moment it began. There are no known eruptions on record from Haley Gubby in the past several thousand years, suggesting this volcano may have erupted after an extremely long period of dormancy. However, the geological record from the Danakil region is often incomplete due to the area's remoteness and the limited scientific studies that have been conducted there. The implications of this eruption extend beyond immediate safety concerns. Volcanic ash can affect air travel across wide regions, which is why aviation authorities have issued red alerts. The sulfur dioxide emissions can impact air quality and, in sufficient quantities, can have short-term cooling effects on regional climate. The ash fallout will affect soil composition and water quality in areas where it settles. For the scientific community, this eruption provides valuable data about the African superplume and the rifting process. Each volcanic event offers insights into the subsurface magmatic system, the pathways magma takes to reach the surface, and the precursory signals that might help predict future eruptions. The seismic data collected before, during, and after the eruption will be analyzed for years to come. The East African Rift represents one of the most significant tectonic features on Earth. It's a place where we can observe, in real time, the process of continental rifting. Over millions of years, this rift will continue to widen, potentially creating a new ocean basin as the African continent gradually splits apart. The volcanic activity we're witnessing is an integral part of this long-term geological transformation. Ethiopia has approximately 50 active volcanoes, most located in the Ethiopian Rift, which represents the northern segment of the East African Rift system. An active volcano is one that has magma stored deep within the Earth's crust and could potentially erupt in the future. Many of these volcanoes have evidence of past eruptions, some dating back hundreds or even thousands of years. The relationship between earthquakes and volcanic eruptions in this region is complex. While it's rare for earthquakes to directly trigger volcanic eruptions in Ethiopia, the two phenomena are intimately connected. Both result from the same underlying cause, the movement of magma beneath the surface. As magma intrudes into the subsurface, it fractures rock and creates earthquakes. These volcano-related earthquakes differ from purely tectonic earthquakes and often occur in swarms over extended periods. The current situation at Haley Gubby demonstrates the unpredictable nature of volcanic systems. Despite decades of relative quiet, the volcano suddenly burst into explosive activity. This unpredictability underscores the importance of robust monitoring systems and disaster preparedness. Countries like Japan have developed comprehensive disaster preparedness cultures that include routine drills, widespread education programs, and active community engagement. These measures have proven effective in reducing the impacts of natural hazards. For Ethiopia and the Afar region, continued investment in monitoring technology and early warning systems is crucial. Satellite remote sensing provides valuable data, but ground-based seismic networks, gas monitoring stations, and GPS deformation measurements offer complementary information that improves eruption forecasting. The challenge lies in implementing these systems in one of Earth's most hostile environments. The explosive nature of the Haley Gubby eruption contrasts with the typical effusive activity seen at nearby Erdaeil, which has maintained a persistent lava lake for decades. This variability in eruption style, even within the same volcanic system, reflects differences in magma composition, 
gas content, and the structure of volcanic conduits. Understanding these differences helps scientists assess volcanic hazards and provide appropriate warnings to affected populations. As this situation continues to develop, multiple agencies and research institutions worldwide are monitoring the volcano. The Volcanic Ash Advisory Center in Toulouse, France, coordinates information about ash cloud movements to ensure aviation safety. Seismologists track earthquake activity, volcanologists analyze satellite data for thermal anomalies and gas emissions. This coordinated international effort exemplifies how modern science addresses volcanic hazards. The broader context of climate and geological cycles also plays a role in volcanic activity. While individual eruptions cannot be predicted with precision, patterns of activity over decades and centuries provide insights into when volcanic systems might be entering more active phases. The data collected from events like the Haley Gubby eruption contributes to this larger understanding. For the people of the Afar region, this eruption represents both a hazard and a reminder of the powerful forces shaping their homeland. The landscape they inhabit exists because of volcanism and tectonics. The fertile soils that support agriculture in some areas result from weathered volcanic materials. Geothermal energy resources, another product of this volcanic activity, offer potential for sustainable energy development. This is Stormscope USA, continuing to monitor the situation at Haley Gubby Volcano and throughout the East African Rift System. We'll provide updates as new information becomes available from satellite observations, seismic monitoring networks, and ground reports. The unfolding geological drama in Ethiopia serves as a powerful reminder of our planet's dynamic nature and the ongoing processes that shape the world we inhabit.